it should uh should be done cool right now. We're on the second part and it's been uh about two seconds. So yeah. Let's just finally get some of this excess off that was wiped out onto it. And uh, later on, I will be painting this, but that'll be a little bit. That'll probably be a few days, maybe longer. I don't know. Whenever I feel like getting the video up. Because, you know, I'm busy with school and stuff like that. Okay. I'm about to cut my hand. Okay. Okay, well, for now, um, what we're gonna do is take this piece and put it over there. And I need to cut that just a little bit more straight. Okay. Now we're gonna make the front the kind of curve in it that gives it the aerodynamicness which makes it aerodynamic so that's roughly what we want so now I'm going to use a little trick and I haven't showed anybody this trick to do this but here's what I'm going to do so you see this part right here the edge what I'm going to do is actually cut along that edge like that so that it forms kind of a... Here, I'll show you. So that it does that, which side cut it, and now it'll perfectly sit right there. And again, I haven't showed anybody this. You guys are the first ones to see it. And I've had many people who I've uh, actually taught what I do. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I've helped a few people in projects and stuff like that. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually... Oh, I should use this in my cardboard projects. That'd be pretty cool. So, um, yeah, let me cut it right about there. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys about something. I recently saw a movie, and it was really good. It's, uh, Death Note, the movie, the Netflix original one. It's actually really good. You guys should go check it out. And especially if you liked the uh, Death Note anime, it was pretty cool. Okay, so the front part isn't going to be exactly straight, but it's... Oh, I need to fix that. This project's getting a little annoying. And by the time you guys are seeing this, part one would have probably already be been up for a while, so... Yeah. Okay. I'm actually gonna, um... Put part one out today and then part two out tomorrow and or this part this is part two so yeah if you haven't seen part one go check that out
it was uh, interesting. We had some technical difficult technical difficulties that I'm gonna have to probably edit out because I said I don't do editing, but some things do need to be edited out. Okay. Actually, hot. Oh, ow. Only hot gluing this side, and I'm taking this and hot gluing the actual side that I'm going to be attaching it to, just because that's easier for me and it'll be a lot easier for you guys. So let's just line this up, and now you are actually going to want to hold it for a minute, but I. That isn't much of a problem. Okay, so let that up. Jesus, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, praise the Lord. <laughs> okay, well that was crunchy. Well, that's setting. I'm gonna need a few of these. Now we're actually gonna sand this down, and I'm being serious, but very slightly. We don't want to uh, ruin it. Just so it gives a little bit more of a kind of I don't know what the hell to call it. Um. Huh. Um. So now we're going to put a piece right here on the bottom. I'm actually not going to use that piece. I'm going to use uh, this piece. should work. Okay, that should turn on the wrong side. Okay, it fits. So now I'm just going to... And I'm not actually cutting all the way through. All I'm doing is slicing it a little bit so then I can just break it off with my hand and it's a pretty decent cut. Okay. And now I'm gonna put some hot glue right here on the tip part. On the kind of roof part, I guess, if we were building some kind of messed up uh, house. Or, uh, yeah, guys, look, it's a house. <laughs> Building house has a hole in it. Um, yeah. If I ever make a uh, foam board airplane, I'm probably gonna just gonna use part one as an example for the body and everything okay so now I'm gonna let that sit and then well actually before I do that a little crevice right there we don't want that so I'm gonna get my hot glue gun in there and get that watertight because this is an actual boat guys Ah, and goes. So yeah, this is an actual boat, so it does need to be uh, kind of watertight, which I will hopefully accomplish. So yeah, I'm gonna take this and kind of squeegee it around. Just so I do make sure that I get that uh, watertight seal. 
Water. 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 Um. Hmm. I should probably go see if this actually floats. Nah, I'm too full of myself. I'll be right back, guys. Ow. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just need to go get a water. Water. Give me a few pretzels and then we'll start. I'm actually going to leave this part open for now, just so I can uh, do a few more things. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So, what I'm doing... Cutting this down the size. So that I can get a. So I'm gonna put that right there, and that comes to the second pillar. Okay, so I'm gonna. I do want it to overhang. Uh, how am I gonna do this? I'll just do it in two pieces. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Okay. Now, after I did that, I need to uh, this down a little bit. Eventually, I will smooth them down, like right here and stuff. Here, I'll just give you guys an example. I'll smooth it out, kind of like that, just so it's like an actual boat. Instead of like all rigid, that's kind of what I did here. That's what I've done here. So, uh, hey guys, maybe I should take this. It's like a little piece of really stretchy fabric. And, uh, put that on here. That looks pretty cool, huh? Ugh. I would, but that would heavy it too much, which would bring it down because of what I'm making it out of. I may actually use this as a weight. This is, uh, some putty stuff that I made. It was my attempt at uh, Grant Thompson's Proto Putty, which instead of using Silicon 1, I accidentally used Silicon 2, and I didn't realize until I was done. So, yeah. 
I'm gonna use that and put it in there to weight it down. Nah. Okay, so now we're going to... Measure that up. Okay. And accidentally went a little too far, so I'm gonna round this and that up. And put this on. Okay. to cut that, and I'm just gonna, because as you can see, I left a little excess hanging off, I'm just gonna cut that, so, um, yeah, now I'm gonna watertight it, because it's, or at least in theory, this should watertight it, again, guys, I'm not too sure, I haven't, like, built one of these beforehand, and then, I'm showing you how to build this one. This is actually my uh, first build. So now I'm going to squeegee it out. Kind of like buff it, I guess. And uh, yeah, it should hopefully be. Which, this section, I just thought that I should watertight it. Well, I am waiting for this to out dry. Squeegee it. This too. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, glue it on, and then cut it. But give it a slight overhang, about that much of overhang. So, yeah. Which is about, I don't know, two, three centimeters, I'd say. But first, I'm just going to hot glue it on. Because that's what makes the most sense to me. So just hot glue it on and then do the finer details later. And actually, real quick, which i got to work quick before this dries, I'm going to bond these two pieces together a little bit better. And I need to hurry... Okay, wow, that was probably one of the fastest things I've ever done. And, uh, yeah. So, unfortunately, guys, I don't know how to time lapse. I don't really know how to do much editing. So, this video is going to be a little bit. Oh, and, uh, here soon, guys, we are going to be giving away a, uh, $25 Amazon gift card. So definitely subscribe, and uh, we're doing that up. It's going to be sometime in December, like December 1st or December 10th. We're going to drop the giveaway. So be looking out for that. It's going to be really cool. Like I said, a $25 Amazon gift card instead of the $25 one that I would have done if, uh, you know, Toys R Us hadn't been going out of business. Which, in my opinion, is just a publicity stunt, but, hey, maybe that's just me. So now that I have the overhang, like I said, just a little bit of overhang, you know, so you can hang it on the edge of your table. You know, hang it on the edge of your table, why not? And uh, I'm going to have to end this video here in a minute. So, uh, yeah, that was part two. And, uh... I'm gonna do a few more things. I was thinking about incorporating this, which this is actually solder. 
that I had pounded and melted out, but I don't know. So, 